Hi, I'm Mark from Scarpa. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about different types of mountaineering boots, uh, some of the features and benefits, and why you might choose one type of boot over another. First category I'm going to touch on is what we consider double boots. So these are boots that have an outer shell, but also a removable inner liner. Um, mostly this type of boot would be used for extreme cold conditions, high altitude, or multi-day expeditions. The benefit of having an internal liner is you can take it out and you can bring it into your tent with you and allow it to dry out a little bit more. Um, people normally perspire quite a bit through their feet, so as that moisture builds up inside the liner, um, you want to be able to have the ability to dry that out, particularly if you're going on a multi-day expedition where leaving your boots out in the fly of your tent or the vestibule uh, could actually result in them freezing and then putting on frozen boots in the morning, which is no fun at all. So um, with a removable liner, you get extra insulation inside, additional comfort for long days in the mountains, but also the ability to either bring an extra liner with you or take that liner out into your tent or your sleeping bag and let it dry out overnight and be ready for the next day. So within our double boot category, we actually have quite a range of uh, options here, going from our Phantom 8000, which is meant for super high altitude or very, very cold areas like the Arctic or, or, or Antarctic, um, or peaks like Everest, uh, Nupsi, Lhotse, things like that, where extreme cold is the norm uh, and you're going to be on the mountain for multiple days uh, or on your trip for multiple days. Uh, these actually have uh, an outside gator that's built in with waterproof construction and insulation inside a shell for support uh, and the, the part that you lace up and inside of that you actually again have a removable liner uh, that you can uh, take into your tent with you and allow that to dry out. Um, as we go down the mountain uh, to a degree, you've got our Phantom 6000. So this boot would be appropriate for uh, winter ice climbing in North America, um, perhaps uh, all but maybe winter in Alaska, uh, those kinds of mountains, or some of the um, 6,000 meter peaks in the Himalayas, uh, so things like that. Uh, also still has a removable uh, liner, but this liner is going to be um, kind of a lighter insulation package than in the 8000. And then we also have uh, sort of a classic boot in the line, which is the Inverno. Uh, this has been uh, in the Scarpa lineup for 15, maybe even 20 years. Uh, the reason it's still around is because um, it's a really good value for what you get. Uh, it's still a double boot, so you do have that removable liner option, um, but it's at a much lower price point than, uh, than you're talking about here in the Phantom family. It's also quite durable. Uh, the plastic shell on the outside, uh, while certainly a little bit heavier than uh, these boots, is super durable and it really just holds up to uh, crampon abuse or extended use in, in rocks or on glaciers or things like that. So uh, that's what you get sort of at this end of the double boot collection with the Inverno. So with a boot like the Phantom 8000, uh, we have basically an 18 layer construction. When you talk about the uh, outside gator, this shell, and then the liner, there's 18 different layers of material inside to give you the most insulation possible in a lightweight package. That includes a couple different ver versions of Primaloft inside, um, Aerogel, there's actually an aluminum reflective layer inside as well, and a cork EVA uh, foam blend. Um, all of these things sandwiched together to still be quite light and flexible, but also uh, super insulative. So this is the warmest boot, we think, uh, available in the market. With a boot like the Phantom 6000, you still have the removable inner boot, obviously, uh, like we talked about earlier, but it's a, a little bit lighter weight insulation package. It makes the boot a little bit trimmer, as you can see here. The Phantom 8000 is quite a high volume boot on the outside as far as the shape of it. The Phantom 6000 is a little bit trimmer, so it's a little bit more technical boot. So when you're going to be doing a little bit more technical climbing, but you still need that warmth uh, for the temperatures that you're going to be in, uh, the Phantom 6000 uh, might be a really good choice like that. Uh, we also use Primaloft insulation in here. It does have, again, the re aluminum reflective layer and a cork EVA blend. Just the package is not going to be quite as uh, thick as uh, found in the Phantom 8000. So in the Inverno, uh, we do have the removable inner boot. It's got multiple layers of different densities of foam for insulation inside. Um, and of course, the, the plastic shell actually works as a, a sort of a vapor barrier, if you will, to trap uh, heat on the inside of the boot as well. Um, quite a difference in price here. Again, I, this is kind of the value end of the double boot collection uh, at around $379, uh, you know, going all the way up to about $1,200 for something like the Phantom 8000. So uh, depending on, on how often you're going to use the boot or where you're going with the boot, could be that the Inverno um, with this lighter weight insulation package and durability uh, for the price is the right choice for you. So within the double boot lineup, uh, 
This boot in particular is primarily going to be used for expeditions or really super cold climates at the poles um, or high altitude uh, mountains as we talked about earlier. Uh, the Phantom 6000 uh, I touched on is a little bit trimmer and more technical, so this is going to be appropriate for vertical ice or more technical climbing, but it's still going to have um, the, the removable liner inside, so it's going to give you that extra warmth for really cold conditions. Uh, the Inverno is a little bit more of a general type of double boot, often used in, in, as a rental boot for like glacier trips and things like that, different programs. Um, again, the durability and the price makes this attractive from that, from that aspect. You actually can still put step-in uh, crampons on this boot, uh, so fully automatic crampon, uh, and do vertical ice with it. Um, you don't have quite the ankle flexibility that you're going to get in the Phantom series here because of the stiffness of the plastic, uh, but you do get enhanced durability from crampons and things like that, so you got a really good uh, protective structure on the outside of the boot. Thanks for watching, I'm Allison, the founder of Wimarek, and I am so stoked to let you know that we just launched mountaineering boots on Wimarek. That means that you can compare every single boot you just saw in this video to literally every single boot on the market. There's going to be a link in the description, and if you have any questions along the way, write them in the comments, and we'll work to make some answers happen for you. That's weird. We'll just get you answers. Awesome ones. <laughs>